Want to get shaders for Minecraft Java version 1.21.9? Well, let me show you how to do just that. So let's get started. To begin, simply go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, just go to your search bar and search up mod Winfax. So now enter and here you'll find modwinfax.com. Simply click on modern and then you'll be on the modern homepage. From there, just go to discover content on the top of the website, then go down to shaders. Now, you're gonna have a bunch of shaders you can choose from. Now, you can really choose any one of these. Most of these should work on 1.21.9, regardless of version, if it is at least like 1.21 plus. So yeah, in this case, I am just gonna choose the most popular one, but you can choose any one of these. So I'll just choose this one, for example, so just click on the name, now click on versions, and then here you will find that this one is for 1.2018 and not 9, it will still work. So in this case, just click the green download button for that one, and there you go. You just downloaded a shader to your computer, it's that easy. But you do need to have Iris or Optifine to make it work. We will be using Iris for today's tutorial, so how do we get Iris so you can actually run the shader in Minecraft? To get Iris, you simply want to go to a new tab, you want to go to your search bar, and you want to search up Iris Shaders, like so. Now enter, here you'll find irisshaders.dev and Iris Shaders. click on that link, and it will bring you to the homepage. From there, just click the Download Now button, and then click the Download Universal Job button. And there you go. So you have Iris Installer to make this shader run in Minecraft. But as this is a .jar file, you might not be able to run the file, aka the installer, in Windows. So if you can't run this, I will have a link in the description for you to actually download Java for Windows. I am going to quickly show you what to do. So if you can't run iOS installer, this is only if you can't, just go to a new tab, go to your search bar, and search up JDK25. Now. Here you'll find that we have Java Downloads here by oracle.com, this is the one you want. Just click on this link here and this will bring you to this website here. Now just do accept all, then you want to scroll down, you'll find that we have Java 25, JDK 25 is selected, select Windows, like so, and you want the x64 installer using this link. Just click this link to download and install Java 25 and then you'll be able to run the iOS installer. Okay. So once you have this done, you can close or minimize your web browser. I'll just close mine. And from there, you can go to your files here, your file explorer, to access your downloads folder. Now, just go to your iOS installer, and if you have Java installed, you will be able to just double click this, and it will just work. Here, for the Minecraft version, just choose 1.2.9. You can choose iOS only or iOS plus fabric if you want to use some extra mods on top of it. I'll just leave it to default and just click install once you're done. Okay, once that's completed, you can close the installer and then you can go to the Minecraft launcher. With the Minecraft launcher, this is how you open up your know, Minecraft and also Minecraft Bedrock if you want, but we'll just be focusing on Minecraft Java here. Okay, so here is our Minecraft launcher and you will also see that we have Iris and Sodium here. Awesome. This means that this will work for this version here. If you need, you can use iris here and sodium, you can use latest releases or latest snapshot. In this specific case, we'll just go ahead and just play. So we'll just click play here to just run Minecraft. So let's just wait for Minecraft to open up and then we'll be able to go ahead and actually add the shader to the shader packs folder. I'm going to show you where to find this folder in a couple seconds. So yeah, so you can also use multiple shaders as well in Minecraft, just you won't be able to use them at the same time, but you can have multiple shaders like in a list if you ever want to use them. It's really versatile, so let me just show you how to get this one shader, but you can use multiple shaders if you want. But remember, only one shader at a time that can actually work in the game. Okay, so in this case, once we have Minecraft here, you will want to go to the Options button here. Then you want to go to Video Settings here. You will notice that we have a sodium-like interface because it does run with sodium, but we have an extra button called shader packs. Click it, and then you want to go to open shader pack folder. From there, 
you will see it's empty. Just go to your downloads here, then select your shader that you downloaded and copy it. Then go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder and click paste. And now you have one shader in those Minecraft shader packs. So once you have this, you can go back to Minecraft. Here you'll see you have one shader. So to enable a shader, you just want to click on it, it will darken and click apply. And there you go, it's done. So if you want to disable a shader, just click enable here, disable, and it will just disable the shader. So now let me show you this happening in game. So here we are on our home screen. So simply go to single player world or a server or a realm. I'll just go to a single player world for this one. Okay. And once we're here, let me show you what happens when you activate the shader. So to activate one, you go to escape, options, video settings, shader packs. You select your shader. It becomes dark or yellow in this case. And you just do apply. You wait a couple seconds and it just applies to your game like this. There you go. So we now have shaders in Minecraft. It is that easy. So yeah, that is how we add shaders to Minecraft Java 1.21.9. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.